Listen, let me explain something to y'all. Understand something. A lot of us, when we were um, when we were growing up, we were rebellious children. Amen. If you parents out there, if you got some rebellious children, those are the ones with destiny. Yeah, let me talk to you real quick. You got to understand <clears throat> the people that don't battle demons and evil spirits, the people that don't battle principalities, right? The people that don't get attacked by Satan like like that, it's because they have no destiny. They're not they're not purposeful, right? The purpose of their life is not meaningful. It's it's not helping raise the kingdom of heaven. So the devil leaves those people alone because they're already in bondage. Most of them probably don't even believe in Jesus. They have no clue that there's even a such thing as a spiritual realm. Listen, I'm going to start going more into my teachings about learning how to see into the spiritual realm. There is a spiritual realm that is more real than the physical realm that you can see. Whether you believe it or not, it don't change the fact that it's real. Because when this world is dead and gone, when Jesus comes back and he takes his people home and he sends all the non-believers and all the devil worshipers to hell, this world going to be gone. Hey, the spiritual realm, the spiritual world is still going to be there. It's always going to be there. Amen. You got to understand when rebellious children. Okay, so why do kids rebel? When we are born, the kids that have destiny, the people that have destiny, the people that have a have a divine purpose, the devil is terrified of you and you're important to the devil because if you live out that destiny, what's that going to do to the satanic kingdom? Amen. It's going to leave the satanic kingdom trembling. So when you're born, you have specific principalities, demons and evil spirits assigned specifically to your life. You have a satanic agenda of witchcraft. Witchcraft is real. Witchcraft is alive. Witchcraft is still working. You have witchcraft on your life. This explains why you deal with depression, addiction. Certain seasons come around and that depression hits, that anxiety, that anxiety hits. You have certain battles in life. You have certain things you face. Right, the people that have been through the most battles in life and dealt with the most attacks from people, from family members, those are actually all principalities working behind those people. That's witchcraft. There is witchcraft working in the spiritual realm against you and you're not even aware of it. Okay, most people can't see into the spiritual realm so they don't understand why they're dealing with these attacks. But if you can understand and start to see in the spiritual realm, Instead of only paying attention what's the what's uh what's in the physical, what you can see in the physical, if you can start seeing life from over there instead of seeing life from right here, you begin to get more knowledge and gain understanding, right? So you're fighting from the third heaven. Understand God is in the third heaven, and he's in the highest heaven. So if you can understand how to see in the spiritual realm the protocols of the third heaven, you're fighting from the highest seven, the, the highest heaven. So you already have an advantage over Satan because now you're looking down on him and you can see him coming. Observe everything before the attack comes because you know an attack is coming. Uh, I see that. Uh, I caught that. Uh, uh, not today. I'm not going to let you offend me today. I'm not going to let you get me angry today. Ain't going to happen. Keep praying. Always be in prayer. Engage in battle. Amen. If you look throughout the Bible, God's people have proclaimed great victory by engaging in battle. It's about that time. Spiritual warfare is real. Come on, let's get it.